Hang on, Duke. Hanging on for dear life. We could ask that question. Can you use the Starlink standard V4 while on the move? To find out, we're in an open space and we're going to try it out for ourselves. First step is to calibrate for the satellite connection. Let's see if you can lock on the satellite first. Searching for satellites. Wow, nice, good. Clear skies, no obstruction. Starlink is misaligned by 22 degrees. Obviously, we're not going to align this properly because we're going to be in a moving car, right? So yeah. let's do a speed test. Even misaligned, you can get that speed. Yeah. So I'm streaming one live video over here and we're also playing a two hour video and let's see whether this styling works even while we're on the move. Alright, so I still have live stream running. Okay. Seems to be fine, no issues. Interesting. So the dish does support mobile usage. You can actually stream while on the go. Live stream is still running. We're making a U turn and we're getting close to 200 megabits per second. You are running around 50 kilometers an hour. I'm getting 260 megabits, guys. I'm going round and round and round about. Still getting 300 megabits. <laughs> I'm going round and round 400, 400 megabits. Impressive. 450. So the question was can you use the Starlink standard kit V4? for on-the-go use? Well, the answer is yes. And we can get as high as 400 megabits while this car is moving. But of course, there's a concern about the plan because what we have right here is the residential plan that costs 220 ringgit. By right, you should be getting the roaming plan that costs 700 ringgit. That plan is designed for RV users, for those who are nomadic. But for our test, yeah, how it works. But the plan, I'm not too sure whether you can use this long term. But nevertheless, is very impressive.